Hi, Danny, Chrissy, Layla, Shyla, and Maya. Okay, so I'm gonna assemble some chicken enchiladas. It's a big hit around here. So we've prepared everything and we're gonna tape it right now. So I have a little flat pan right here where I'll be laying the tortillas. I have enchilada sauce, one whole can. And I have shredded chicken. Now this isn't just any chicken. This has got to be Purdue chicken from Publix. You get about six breasts and it's 10 bucks a bag, but it's worth it. Fresh, it's no antibiotics or nothing. It takes one whole bag of mixed me Mexican cheese. Now this is red peppers, yellow, green, onion, and they've all been chopped and the deli peppers. I use those deli Marzetti peppers in here. So you heat this for two minutes covered like this in the microwave for two minutes. It's gonna be very hot. So no, make sure you can handle it. Here we have a huge, huge amount of cilantro, a lot of washed cilantro. We have cumin. I just grabbed any random tortillas. We have green chilies, refried beans, Dee Dee's Zatarans, she loves Zatarans, so we use the yellow rice. Didn't do anything to it, gonna eat it straight up. I just put a little bit of enchilada sauce on it. And of course, everything in EVOO. So, I'm gonna start assembling right now. And I take the tortilla and I put it in. I wet it and I lay it on my work area. One thing I didn't tell you that I should have told you that I always have to have is a wash bowl for my fingers with soapy water in it. In case you have to dip while you're doing something and you have a towel and you have a soap bowl. And then you have a dry rag for the counter and a possibly a napkin. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spread some chicken on here. Sprinkle just a little bit of cumin, just a little for flavor. I don't put it in the enchilada sauce. I want it to stand on its own on top of the chicken. And some cilantro here, a nice little bunch. Now here, are those beautiful vegetables I was telling you about. Now they're still hot and I heat them because it melds all the aromas together and the flavors, plus it softens them so they're not harder than your chicken. Okay, so then I come and I cover it with cheese. And if you'll just wait a moment, I'll run off camera to get the tacos off. 